Hi, I'm Juanita Green. I teach mathematics at Newark Vocational High School in Newark, New Jersey. And I was recently awarded the Newark Teacher of the Year for 2023. The best way to support students is to have strong systems set in place in your classroom so that students know what to expect every day. So when they're absent, they know what they missed. You know, they know that you have a certain structure. I also just make sure that I have at least one day after school that students can come and ask for extra help and get extra help. At the beginning of the year, I really try to learn their name as quickly as possible because that makes them feel like they belong in your class. And to do some community building at the beginning, um, we do spend uh, a good amount of time the first week of school just doesn't mean I don't do any content, but I do less content and more of a community builders. I just started my 27th year this year. I have left the classroom and gone back. And I feel like that's helped me just in terms of taking a break, I think. Like this summer, I took a break. I didn't, I did a couple of workshops, but I didn't work summer school. Catch up on things and to to see my, my family a little bit and to, to come back ready and recharged on Monday. Trying to tell students that it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to advocate for yourself and to be that advocate and to, um, to ask for what you need. Trying to give them the confidence and the knowledge to know that you can set up things the way you, it works best for you and find out what works best for you. Your zip code shouldn't determine how good your school is. We need good schools and good teachers in those schools, um, regardless of, of where it is. Um, and teachers that are gonna stay for a little bit and learn the craft because you can, you can become a better teacher every year you do it. And so, you know, I feel like when teachers just teach for a couple of years or not even, you know, they just make it for a year and they're like, this isn't for me. Well, you know, maybe you could do it if you just put a little bit more in or find a way to make it work for you or, or find the school that it works in. Getting this award just means I'm not quite done with the classroom teaching that I'm doing. It's this nice that after all these years, I still have a, a fire for what I do. I still have a passion for what I do. And somebody's recognizing that and, and saying, hey, you're doing a good job. In my teaching, I would love to make a change with my students who graduate and get them involved more in STEM fields, science, um, engineering, technology, or even medicine.